Hello everyone and welcome to this video. This is the fourth video in our playlist and uh, in this video we are going to discuss about the Minikube dashboard. Now Minikube does come with a dashboard functionality of, of the Kubernetes. This dashboard lets you see everything that is going inside the Minikube and you can use the control resources in your cluster from the dashboard. So we are going to create a dashboard in this video and we have already covered the installation of the Minikube and the ports deployment in the Minikube in the previous videos so if you haven't subscribed to our channel i would suggest you to subscribe to our channel now so that you get the latest videos delivered into your youtube account as soon as we create them and you can also visit our blog that is www.unixcloudfusion.com uh, there you will get a lot of stuff about the cloud devops and automation all right so that being said let's start with the minikube dashboard now, Minikube dashboard is a great feature of Minikube from the Kubernetes that the Kubernetes also provide using the dashboard. But in order to access the Minikube dashboard, the very first thing is like it's accessible locally over the loopback IP that is 127.0.0.1. Now, if you are running it in a Vagrant VM like in our case, so you don't have the X window system due to which you can't directly see it on the Chrome window. So in order to get around this, we are going to make changes to the kubectl proxy or basically going to open it on 0.0.0.0 IP that is to all everyone. Okay. Now, since this is our development environment and we only need this functionality during the Kubernetes dash Minikube dashboard access. So uh, during that time, you can do this. And afterwards, once you exit the kubectl command, then again, uh, the uh, Minikube will not allow access from outside the uh, main functionality of this minikube is derived from the kubernetes which doesn't allow the access to the external network for its resources okay so let's get started the very first thing that we need to do is given let's do switch to the user Disable okay. We are going to make the kubectl proxy changes on zero dot that should open the IP to 801 port, uh, which should be accessible from anywhere. Now, remember, this is just for accessing the mini cube dashboard, okay. So this is how you can change the kubectl proxy to so that it's publicly open. Okay, let's enable this so it gives us a warning. Okay, uh, now we can access the server directly on 8001 port. Okay, so let me show you. All right, so we have visited the IP in our browser we are running on the vacant so we are directly able to access our VM uh, to the IP itself in the browser on our Windows machine and here are all the IPs which are supported so you can make any uh, of the rest API call for the Kubernetes and it's going to service those requests okay uh, although this is not a very safe way of doing it but for now, just opening the, just showing you the Kubernetes dashboard, we have opened this functionality. All right, so let's get back to our VM, and here we are. Okay, so at this point, I'm going to take 
one more session of my VM and uh, we are going to bring the minikube dashboard up and running for that we are just going to do minikube dashboard and that should start the minikube dashboard now once the minikube dashboard launches it gives you an api which you can directly use to access the it in the browser right now it's complaining that we are not having the x uh, windows enabled in our environment and that's fine because it's just x is just a UI and normally the Linux servers don't run the UI, they work on the command line. Alright, at this point, uh, we are good to go ahead and we can create our, we can access this inside the Chrome browser that we are having. Okay, over there. Alright, so this is our browser. We can go ahead and access the dashboard now okay and here's the dashboard it shows us the IP address that we are running the components which are running okay and all the information you can get name space persistent rules storage classes okay so any of the changes that we are going to do that would be visible here itself okay All right, so to see the changes, let's make an Nginx application up inside the Kubernetes and see how we can how we can see the that pods within the dashboard itself. Okay, so let's go back and for at this point we will again have to take one more session because our terminal is locked down right now okay so we are quickly going to deploy the nginx and this is in line with our previous video on how we can deploy the container so i'm quickly going to deploy uh, app okay uh, we are just going to deploy a container of Nginx with the latest image All right, so deployment for our application has been created. Let's expose the container that we are running using kubectl expose deployment and our app name The type will be notebook. All right, so that should expose. Okay, our application is exposed now. We can get the ports like kubectl get ports. All right, so here is our container uh, running. It's not ready right now, but it should be in some time. Okay, and we can also do kubectl get services at this time to get our services. So here is our service running right now, and this is the clustered IP that has been assigned to it. And we can get the service URL using minikube service. Service name is our Unix Cloud Fusion app. And we are going to use the URL. Okay, and here's a URL through which we can access our application. So what we can do is we can directly uh, make a curl request and see uh, if we are getting the Nginx up and running. All right, it says welcome Nginx, that's the default page. So we know our container of Nginx is running inside the pod in the mini queue. And uh, at this point, uh, 
he can go ahead and check in the dashboard what's happening. We, it should show the pod for the mini cube from the mini cube over there. All right, so I am inside my dashboard for the mini cube and it shows me that there is one new deployment with the label of Sheet Excel or Fuse an app that we have just created. It's running the Nginx latest and uh, it also shows me the pod information for the uh, which is running the replica sets i can click on the deployments to get more details here is the details about my deployments which was done it used the rolling update and the max search and the max available is there okay and uh, it has been running since three minutes in Genex latest uh, in and we can click on ports to get more detail about our ports which are running okay and here is the it's running in the default namespace i can assign the namespace using the i can change this namespace uh, and it's good to run the entire all the containers of your application inside the namespace so that you can list all the containers in one go okay and uh, here is sort of a log events what has happened inside this application till now okay so it has created scheduling and pulling the image and that's good okay this is how you can access uh, it remotely and kubernetes dashboard provides you a lot of information about the running containers and the node information is also there the ports information is there so you can see all the ports into the gui okay and uh, that's to it okay so that brings us to the end of our video and so i will see you in the next video thanks everyone and don't forget to subscribe to our channel